howdy, howdy. It is Black Friday in the United States, the day after Thanksgiving. I was just wanting to say good morning. It's quite unusual for me to be awake before my parents. I'm here in the bedroom at their uh, senior living, uh, I don't want to call it a facility, community. And I made it in yesterday in time to enjoy the holiday. It's been a rather long trip, but I'm not going to say a lot right now. I just wanted a little clip to bring up to date the past, I think, three days of clips. I think the last video I posted was in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So this next one will be the clips from Tuscaloosa to West Virginia to Virginia. I didn't make any clips of our family dinner, but uh, it's going to be an interesting month, but I'm going to keep y'all posted. I'm trying to get my bearings here, what I can, where I can film, what I can film. As I'm finding, uh, most of the older generation doesn't want their names mentioned. They don't want to be on video. They don't want to uh, have their story told. And they don't understand why you want to see my story. But I got a wonderful comment yesterday morning from a lady on my um, Am I a Breakthrough Case video. She seemed to think that whatever I said in that video uh, gave her insight and knowledge into how she had overcome her herpes uh, outbreak. It was Dr. Something or Other on on YouTube. You can go to the comments on the Am I a Breakthrough case and, and read it. I think she's a person and she's following a doctor, but I was uh, surprised to see that the doctor had uh, just about the same number of subscribers as I did, but a whole lot fewer videos. Subscribers, watch time, comments, likes, dislikes, all that's very important on YouTube. So we're going to get this through to the end of the year and get us over the hump, even with whatever challenges may lie ahead on this trip. Just a little quick update. Uh, I'm sleeping well. Uh, the shingles is basically gone. My knee is still a little bit dry as the skin heals where the outbreak was. My arm is almost completely cleared up. You can't see it, but... Anyway, that's an update. I'm going to download the other videos. I have good Wi-Fi here. I may even try to set up that podcast equipment and do a podcast at some point while I'm here. If I can find a, a, a desk, a table, something I can set it all up at. Anyway, I've got it all with me, so be prepared. Who knows what's going to happen? Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. Well, good morning. I know you're not going to see this till later. There's my book, The Practice, my tripod with my camera thing. No, I wasn't making videos in bed. I was watching YouTube while I was going to sleep. But uh, anyway, this is the Red Roof Inn Plus, whatever that means, in, uh, where am I, uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It's not much of a view, but hey, it's a view. We're getting into some trees. Got the AC going, even though we had a freeze. And look at these floors. They allow pets here. So, that, But this is what I wanted to show you. The last of my steroids and uh, antivirals. I mentioned last night that the... Uh, there's my Keto Mojo that I track my glucose and ketones with. Even though on this trip, what's the point? Well, let me see. Let me do the window. Um, even though last night I told you I think the shingles is is finished oh i don't want to be too close to the air because then you hear the fan in the background but um anyway i'm going to continue taking the pills today will be the last day i have the the dose now that i've had breakfast and then probably a dose with uh, eight hours later and then i'll be done with the antivirals but everything has cleared up i do not look like a leper anymore that's in a biblical sense of a leper where your skin is all discolored not a leopard like the animal but anyway we're getting ready to get on the road. It's about 9 a.m. Tuesday. I think it's November 23rd, and we are pulling out of Tuscaloosa on the way to just inside the Virginia line, which I believe we'll cross at Bristol. 
I'll check in when we get a stop. A box from his desk. Frozen like peanut butter things. Mm -hmm. Um, he actually didn't like peanut butter. He's like, oh, he butter. got it in half. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh, like, oh, it's sweet. <laughs> well, because I, I got him, I got, you know, and he has all sorts of things like peanut butter, rabbit, mm. blah, blah, blah. And then part of the bucket. Alrighty, this is probably the last check-in for Tuesday night. We have arrived at this, huh, what should I call it, fancy hotel. Um, actually, I booked this on Priceline on the Express deal. I was telling my friend I'm traveling with, I've never got a bad hotel out of that. But when we read some of the reviews after I found out which one we were at, I was a little bit concerned, but this is the back lot. And... We're on the second floor, but it actually, uh, you come up from the front over there and see second and third floor are on ground level here. So that's my room, number 220, and it's not, it's a lot nicer than it looks from the outside. It's actually a Super 8, and I haven't stayed in a Super 8 in a long time, but it's a big king bed. I've already took the duvet off. And it's warm and cozy and pretty clean, so I think we'll be all right. We'll check in tomorrow. Good morning, beautiful Tennessee. You know, people in the reviews complained that this was a shady part of town, but, you know, I would live in those houses, so I don't think I resemble the fact that this is a shady part of town, but you can see the coal through the window. It wasn't a bad night's stay. It was actually a pretty good one. What does a hotel need? It needs to be safe, clean, comfortable, have enough water pressure and enough water flow for the uh, shower to work right and have good hot water. Let's look at that tree over there. They weren't very crowded. The maid's already on her way, so we're going to be packing up and getting out of here. But that's just my little morning check-in the day before Thanksgiving 2021. I'm going to stand here in the shade a little bit. I just crossed into Virginia on Interstate 81 at Bristol. We're at a Sam's Club, as you can see, getting gas. And no, no long lines here, but of course it's not that cheap either. It's cheaper than near the hotel. It was $3.29 at, in Tennessee, and it's $3.09 here. So we came a few more miles. Now this will be our last gas stop before tonight. We only got about five hours left. See the little windmill over there? This is a place called Rural King with a windmill on the, uh, the building. Not sure what it is. I guess it's like a tractor supply, but then I turned around, I see there's a tractor supply over there. Sorry, I can only got one Sam camera side working. And then, of course, there's a Sam's Club and a Walmart. No, actually, where those hotels and uh, Cracker Barrel is is the other side of the interstate. So I'm not quite sure how we, we had to come all the way around and in the back door here. There's lots of little stuff here. It looks kind of like a neat place to live. 
Dollar Tree over there. Tractors over there. Cars over here. I guess you could get anything you wanted. We're about to get back on the road. So y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. This is the Virginia, West Virginia line with the sunset. And I guess that's the river down there. Howdy, howdy. It is Thanksgiving morning in the United States on the East Coast. I have driven a road actually for four days and I am now at this lovely farmhouse along a river in almost heaven, West Virginia. I'm not talking terribly loud because my host, I think, is still asleep. It's like 7 a.m. and Chip don't do 7 a.m. very often. But I'm going to meet up with my parents and my sister today. We're going to have a nice Thanksgiving lunch, probably going out to Cracker Barrel. But I just slept so well here last night. It is peaceful, quiet, dark. Oh my goodness, you turn the light out. You don't see anything, which is, I guess, is how it's supposed to be. But I'm going to let you get a view out the window. Just rustic, beautiful. There's a river down that away. There's a mountain up that away. We have driven, I think, or in my case, rode 1,200 miles since I left Fort Worth on Sunday. I wouldn't, I didn't, I don't want to say I wasn't able to, but for whatever reason, I did not post a video the last two nights. I have some clips, I'll, I'll get them up, but I just wanted to do a quick update. See the little farmhouse picture? It's a lovely little place. It's like everything on the East Coast, it was built a hundred years ago. Unlike Texas, where everything is fairly new in comparison versus Europe where everything is even old compared to the East Coast. I've lived in all those areas and I adapt wherever I, I land. The reason I came to the farm was there's a, we're, let me put it, there's a potential. We're in discussion about this maybe becoming uh, my domicile. Ever since I started planning on leaving work, I kind of wanted to be closer to my parents. This is about two more hours. I think I'm going to meet my sister in Front Royal or Gainesville or Warrington, somewhere up in Northern Virginia. So we've got to get back into Virginia. We spent a lot of time in Virginia yesterday. And uh, as always, you really don't know somebody until you travel for days with them. And it's been a good trip. She's an excellent driver. We had safe travels. We had very little traffic uh, the first, well, from Sunday night. It, was a, it wasn't bad from Dallas to, to Tyler. It was a lot better than it usually is. Sorry, <laughs> scratching a thing and I'm shaking the camera. Um, and then Monday, Tuesday, till about noon on Wednesday, it wasn't bad at all, but Coming up 81 on a Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving, slow, heavy, couple accidents. We hadn't seen accidents all the whole trip, which was kind of amazing when you're driving all the way across the country not to see an accident. We stayed in a couple of hotels, interesting hotels, hotels I don't normally stay in, but they were fine. They were clean. They were safe. They were acceptable. My shingles has basically gone away, which was the plan. I hoped it to be gone by the time I got here. I didn't want to be contagious at all. And I got a wonderful message on my Am I a Breakthrough case this morning from a young lady saying that my she now understood how she was cured of the herpes virus through my, my video. So that was definitely something to be thankful for. I am having an impact on this, even if I don't know that I am or who I am. I don't believe she's a subscriber. Uh, first time she'd ever commented on my channel. She has about as many subscribers as I do in the low to mid 80s. So it is possible this thing does work. We're moving ahead. 
uh, if my when my host wakes up and this is their bug out place so I'm not giving a lot of details on it and there won't be a lot of video about the area but let me change locations here real quick and get you another view okay this is right outside of the bedroom I was in it's a loft area a TV room but you can see a long ways I can see a mountain on either side of me I'm really in a valley it's a bit cool out here. There's baseboard heat out of here. So this is like an ex addition, extension. But you can see, of course, propane tanks. That means it's propane heat, propane cooking stove. But uh, I'm not going to give a lot of information about the location. If it works out that I end up at living up here, we don't want everybody to know where it's at because we're going to be self-sufficient. But the main thing today is to get over to my parents and have a... It looks like I need to shave. I'm breaking one of my own rules. It's been several days since I shaved, but just wanted to do a check-in. I'll do a little one later tonight and put all this together. But I am just thrilled to be out here. It is lovely. It is peaceful. It is close to God, and that is what I need right now. We'll check in again later. Have a great Thanksgiving. God bless you. I have finally arrived back in Virginia. I got that crazy picture of the orange cow, our last little stop in West Virginia. There's a McDonald's where I had an Exxon with a Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, oh, there's a hemp. Interstate 66 is right up there. We're about at Front Royal. I'm about 20, 30 minutes out from meeting my sister who will take me to see my parents for lunch and then I will be resting for several days so just a quick check in here I am back in my home state and ready to relax it's been a fun but long three four or five days of riding <laughs>